Hello and welcome back. This is Edgerald and today I will be doing a mod spotlight. I will be talking about an add-on to industrial craft that's called Gravitation Suit and this spotlight is made on version 1.9.1 on it. Gravitation Suit adds upgrades to industrial craft items like lab packs, jet packs and some tools as well. Um, so to begin with I'm going to show you the advanced tiers of the regular leg pack. So uh, normally you can craft a lab pack in industrial craft that holds 300,000 EU. Uh, with gravitation suit you can craft an advanced lag pack that holds 1 million EU and you craft it with the old lag pack, a Lapotron crystal and one advanced circuit. And it works exactly the same way as the uh, regular lag pack except it also tells you on the top left side of the screen what the energy level of the item is. Uh, you can charge it in MFSUs and MFEs and you can also use it as a battery to, char to charge those blocks. Um, next up is the ultimate lag pack that you craft with 6 Lapatron crystals, 1 iridium plate, 1 superconductor and either 1 normal lag pack or, or 1 advanced lag pack. It holds up to 10 million EU and you can you, uh, you also have the same energy indicator on the top left and you can use it as a battery, a much faster battery in uh, the MFSU or MFE and it will also be charged in those machines. Next up we've got an upgraded version of the regular electric jetpack, the advanced electric jetpack that you craft with two carbon plates, two glass fiber cables, one advanced circuit, one uh, normal electric jetpack one advanced lag pack and two engine boosters which you craft like this. Um, you can equip it in your chest slot and you can activate it with F. Now, right now it's in hover mode but with the industrial craft uh, switch key I can change it to uh, a regular mode where I can just fly super fast up or, or down. Uh, it additionally has a boost mode which you can use with control but it will consume uh, five times more energy when you're in this mode. The advanced electric jetpack as uh, by default consumes 30% uh, more energy or a 50% more energy than the regular jetpack but of course it can hold uh, up to a million EU. Next up we've got uh, the advanced nano chest plate, it's an upgraded version of the nano suit chest plate. It can store um, a, a million EU and you, you craft it with an advanced electric jetpack, four carbon plates, two glass fiber cables and one advanced circuit and of course a nano suit body armor. Um, basically it has the same protection um, as the nano suit chest plate but it also lets you fly exactly the same way as you just did with the advanced electric jetpack. And you also uh, have boost mode which will of course consume more energy. Finally, the highest tier of armor will be it's the uh, gravity chest plate. It can store up to 10, mini, 10 million EU and it's incredibly expensive to make. Um, you will use su four superconductors, one HV transformer, one ultimate lag pack, and two gravitation engines, which uh, each of which you have with uh, four Tesla coils, two superconductors, one transformer, two cooling cores. Each of the cooling cores requires all of these mats. In fact, to craft it you're gonna need to approximately collect all of these resources here. You can see it's pretty expensive with uh, iridium, uh, 21 iridium plates required and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, what does it do to justify its cost? Well, it acts as a jetpack as well as a quantum suit armor in terms of protection. You can activate the flight mode with um, F and it doesn't have hover mode because flying acts as in creative mode. Very smooth. Uh, you can activate boost mode with control and then you'll fly real fast but it'll consume three times as much energy. Um, the gravitation suit chest plate can store up to 10 million EU and it will also act as a lag pack so that it will recharge uh, whichever tools you're using. Uh, additionally, you can use it as a battery in MFS, MFEs and MFSUs to charge those blocks and they, it can also be charged 
uh, there as well. Um, okay, moving on to tools. There's a, a tool called the Gravity Tool. Can store up to a uh, hundred thousand EU and combines the functions of an electric hoe, an electric tree tap, and an electric wrench. And you can craft it by combining those tools and an er energy crystal, one advanced circuit, two advanced alloys, and two carbon plates. And you get the gravity tool. The gravity tool has three modes. You can switch with the industrial craft uh, switch mode key. Uh, it has a tree trap. I'm guessing that's a typo. Mode where you can just use it as a, a tree trap. Has the wrench tool, which you can use to take off machines and it has the uh, screwdriver tool which uh, can act as a red power screwdriver and can also turn things like pistons or repeaters um, next up we've, we've got the advanced diamond drill it's faster by 35 percent than the uh, normal diamond um, normal drill you can see it's really fast it consumes 100% more energy than the normal drill though and you craft it by combining a normal drill, three overclockers and two electronic circuits. Uh, there's also an upgraded version of the chainsaw, the advanced chainsaw, which uh, similarly you craft with three overclockers, two advanced circuits, a normal chainsaw and one diamond. The normal chainsaw is made to cut wood and it can also cut pumpkins, melons uh, really fast and can also be used as a shear by right clicking. If you left click you're going to kill the shear, the sheep. It's also a really good weapon, has uh, quite a lot of damage, packs quite a lot of punch and um, yep, pretty good overall. Uh, last tool, the Vajra. I've, uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, Vajar, Vajra, anyway. You craft it like this, two advanced alloys, two carbon plates, two refined iron, one energy crystal, one lapatron crystal and one Vajra core, which you craft like this, two plates, two superconductors, one tesla coil, one transformer, one magnetron and the magnetron you craft like this. Uh, it stores a million EU and basically it acts as a block destroyer tool, it can destroy any block in the game except for bedrock uh, with right click just by clicking, uh, just by just in one touch basically, can destroy any block in the game, obsidian or diamond block or whatever in one touch, it consumes 3333 EU per, uh, per block destroyed and yep also I think it acts as a silk touch tool um, let's test the theory. Nope, never mind. But yeah, destroys blocks really fast. So that was a mod spotlight on version 191 of uh, Gravitation Suit. I hope you enjoyed it and see you next time.